Hi everyone, this is Deborah. I wanted to tell you today why I started this YouTube channel in the first place. It was because I wanted to help women and men who were going through a divorce. My divorce took over seven years and it was so horrific that there were days that I did not want to wake up. And this was with someone that I had grow, grew up with. I had been with him since I was 16. I still have a great amount of respect for him and I still love him, but not in the marital sense, if you know what I mean. We had two wonderful children together. They were the perfect babies. They were just wonderful. It was when they became teenagers that um, I think almost anybody can say that. But back to why I started this YouTube channel. I learned things that are extremely crucial in going through a divorce. I'm a very well-read person. I, in my divorce, I asked my to-be ex if he would bring me my books. Okay, he filled up an F-350 dump truck full of my books. That's how many books I have read. Uh, and yeah, I'm a very well-read person. And I thought I knew it all. Well, no, I had never been divorced before. I had no idea, uh, you know, what I was in for. But I was so traumatized by my uh, separation from him that I could not think. I've always had my wits about me, but my mind was just very cloudy. Um, I believe I was in shock for many, many months, if not a year or more. I had two people and also including my mother that tried, I'm gonna cry, that tried to keep me sane, you know what I mean? God, I've never cried on camera before. Yeah, I will be indebted to these people for the rest of my life. Now my mother's passed, but this is the secret to helping somebody who's going through a divorce, and that is just to listen just listen and that's what my mother did so um what do you guys and girls need to know about a divorce well in virginia all assets are to be split equally unless you um come to another agreement it's whatever you agree to okay now, if you agree to something in writing and you don't keep that agreement, which is, you know, the, the judge has actually signed that too, uh, proving your divorce, then you can get a capious uh, because that person has violated a court order. But that's another story. Uh, yeah, I was so traumatized that uh, I come from a family of very healthy eaters. And most, a lot of my family, especially my dad and my brother, are way over like six foot four. You know, I come from a very large family. Uh, and um, I stopped eating for three or four months when my friends saw me. Uh, I was in a size four, six pant and I'd always been a size 12 person. My friends actually stopped me and they were forcing me to eat and I couldn't. I was not anorexic or anything. I just couldn't eat. Uh, and I, one day I remember looking in front of a mirror before I got dressed and I had lost my boobs and my butt. I mean, I was stick thin. My bones were sticking out of my hips and I had never seen that before. I had no idea how bad I had gotten. So I actually prayed that I would get my appetite back. Now this had been like four months. I lost 40 pounds and I did get my appetite back. 
Uh, but yeah, going through a divorce is harder than a death. And I'll tell you why. Uh, one of my aunts told me this is because you still see that person. You still know that that person is still alive. So, um, and I feel sorry for any woman or man who feels like they have been uh, screwed in the divorce because, you know, you probably have. I just wanted out so bad that after seven years of fighting, I went to seven court cases and that none of them was really about the divorce. It was about other issues because we had owned a large company together, which uh, I had been the sole proprietor for 25 years. And then I added him on as uh, a co-owner. So we both uh, owned it 50-50. But yeah, um, I, wouldn't, I wanted out so bad that I just did, didn't want to fight anymore. Um, I just wanted out. And um, so I signed it. And uh, so, yes, I did get alimony for a short time. And no, I'm not one of those women who gouged him for alimony. I actually lost a half a million dollars because I got tired of fighting. I just signed it, you know. So you guys who think that I was, you know, one of those girls who wanted alimony forever, no, I, I don't get alimony, okay? I did for a very short time, uh, but not anymore. So I actually support myself and I... People say, well, how can you support yourself if you're disabled? Well, it's very simple. I'm allowed to make up to a certain amount a month. And you're allowed to go over that nine times, I believe, in five years. Now, don't quote me on this. But, um, yeah, you're allowed to go over that amount. But I, I can't work but just so many hours. I'm very part-time. And... Um, of course, on the YouTube channel, that is considered, um, you know, your own business. And you're only allowed to work so many hours a month on your own business. So, uh, so I hope this has um, answered some of your questions. And uh, anybody that's going through a divorce, if you want to leave a comment or, or email, uh, and I can help you answer them. I read about nine divorce books and none of them helped me, I'm telling you, because the people who write these divorce books, they don't tell you that it's usually negotiated in the hallway, you know? They don't tell you certain things in the book. That's why, you know, I wanted to start this YouTube channel because there's a lot of myths about divorce, but it's whatever you agree to in writing. That's the bottom line. And uh, so thanks for watching. Bye.